Hi and welcome to Upgrad's Careers in Short series on Big Data. I am Srijan Patel and I am Engineering Manager for Data at GeoSavan. So let's talk about what this Big Data is. Big Data has three essential characteristics. The first one is, you know, the one that makes it big. It is the volume of this data. So the data that we are capturing these days is so huge, uh, you cannot fit this data into a, you know, a single instances disk. You can't put this data into a memory. You can't put this data into a traditional database. So we have had to think about ways to uh, store and serve this data and still be able to handle the scale with which it comes. So number one is volume. The second is the velocity of this data. The amount of the data that we are capturing per unit time is actually increasing exponentially. So what this means is that the data that we captured in last six months is going to be way more than the data that we captured in the six months before that. So your systems have to be capable of not only handling the scale that data is at right now, you also have to be prepared for the 2x or 3x scale in the near future. The third most important characteristic about uh, big data is its variety. So the data that we used to store earlier had a very fixed schema. It used to come from generally one or two sources which were very standardized. These days the data, data that we are collecting is coming from a lot of diverse sources. Uh, it could be social media data, which is usually text and photos. It can be um, web server log data, user behavior data. It can be, uh, you know, IoT device data. It can be healthcare data. So all of these things have their own schemas, their own, you know, uh, quirks. And the engineering part of things have to be, you know, designed in such a way that they serve all of these things uh, in a very efficient way. Also for each of these sources, especially when it comes to user behavior and the uh, internet sort of data, you know, the app analytics data, um, the ability to track things and the desire to track more and more things actually uh, makes, uh, what it ensures is that uh, the schema for these sources keeps on evolving. So today you may not be tracking location for your users, but tomorrow you may be tracking locations um, based on the, the IP address of the users. And the day after tomorrow, you may actually start tracking the latitude and longitude of the mobile devices. So these kind of transitions are very frequent and the, the engineering stack has to be able to handle these things efficiently. If you have any questions or queries, please write them in comments.